Hello everybody, Microspec Gamer here. So, this is my first time playing Minecraft in survival. And honestly, like, what do you think about the game? It's kind of hard to t tell because I only played it on creative mode. And I'm just going to tell you now, I'm probably going to be dying a lot. Since I don't even know how to build anything in the game. Like, I don't know any crafting. And this should be... First... Time uh, for the world, the world name will be just be called first time. Difficulty will be normal because I feel like if I do it peaceful, it'll just be too easy. And easy, I mean, even that is kind of hard for me. But I mean, I can also do it hard. And I think hard, hard is if you die once, you're pretty much dead all the time. Oh, it's actually this one then. Hardcore is one difficult, it's only one life. Let's just go and let's see what I get. So I'm not going to cheat, obviously. This is my first time playing legit Minecraft. I never played before. I'm not going to play online probably for a while because I'm gonna, I have no idea what I'm doing even. So far though, let's see where I am. So I'm at the forest. All I know, guys, is that wood is like the most important, one of the most important, uh, important materials in the game. So that's like immediately the first thing I should get. And I do not even know the controls, but I'm playing it completely blind. And honestly, I can never understood why is the gravity like not present in Minecraft. I mean, aside from everything being a cube and this game is very old but then again I play games like Team Fortress 2 which is two years older than this one but I mean it's so this is so popular it's I never I didn't even download any mods I'm just playing it like the vanilla version of the of Java it's the most updated one but it's my first time playing it legit so let's see I can crouch Shift is run, and I know I will need it at some point. And I know, like, the basic rules, like, at night, at night you do have to create a shelter and, like, be in a specific area. You can be, like, you can even make, like, a fine fortress if you want to, or a fine house. But for this video, guys, I'm just gonna be making a hut, not even, like, a house, just, like, a basic shelter, just for the sake of... Surviving. When it comes to games like these, like I'm pretty much a newbie. And it is pretty peaceful, the music. If you had any stress stress during the day, this can calm you down pretty quickly. Just by playing the game. Which is why I feel like is why it's pretty popular as well, because of the music. So these, I can use them to actually, I don't know if I can, let's see if I can. Oh no, I can't. I actually thought I could use these as like supporting blocks, but I think it's only the uh, these ones. But I do know I do have to make, I do have to use wood to make houses. So I'm going to use, just grab a bunch of these. And I know if I do dig too far down, although it's going to take me a while because the materials there are crazy, and there's multiple cows here. I know I'm gonna fall down and pretty much die to, into the abyss, so it's not really a good idea to dig down. Even though it's gonna take me a while to dig down. Let's just get a bunch of uh, meat, or pork. I will need to eat something, so I'm gonna sorry about these pigs. And honestly, wouldn't, like, even though I have to, I look at everything realistically, then again, I play Gary's mod, which is pretty unrealistic at most, most of the time. Like, wouldn't, wouldn't you get injured if you hit anything barehanded? Especially if you hit wood, like, I'm sure that would damage you 
entirely. And from the looks of it, the way to kill Kalitir is to stun them. Like, just keep them in one corner. Only if that worked in real life against uh, insects. Oh, and this is a... Is this supposed to be a dog or a wolf? Can't really tell. I'm already gonna be dead. Or I killed it, but yeah, I kinda feel bad. And I do have to eat this straw. I kinda... I'm sure they will really kill you, but in this game, it might not even affect you. And I do like to collect items, but I don't really know what they can do. I don't even know how to craft items yet. Like, that's, that's how much of a newbie I am in this game. Okay, so I got a bunch of recipes. I can make weapons. Although I have to see how I can even make them. So I didn't even make a shelter yet, and I know that Minecraft days are pretty short. Like, I don't really know exactly how short, but I would say like maybe 10 minutes and 20 minutes each day. You can probably adjust it if you really want to. Okay, a new recipe. I can make a chest, I can make a bunch of other stuff, but which I never even... Like, I played creative mode, but it was a while back, like three years ago. I was just bored just, play, just making roller coasters, but... So far, this game does give me a bit of nostalgia. I see there's an island there. I'm sure in one of these islands there's something very rare, like diamond and gold. But I'm sure it's guarded by a like, powerful NPC. So, for the sake of this video, I'm probably going to make my house. And I, I know I do need a uh, torch light to keep the monsters away so they don't spawn in my house or my shelter. I'm gonna spawn, I'm gonna make it just in the air, just because, or at least in the corner here, because I know they cannot really reach that area. Until you guys tell me there's a monster, they can pretty much teleport there. I'm sure like the Enderman, like I know that most of the monsters, but I don't know like how to play the game properly. Just collecting sand, and I know it's pretty much pointless if I have, I think these actually drop down, like they fall. Gravity is somehow not immune to these, but everything else it is. I think I'll just make the make it right here. It should be my base. Just gonna make a squared area here. Although building a house on sand is never a good idea because I'm sure it, it would collapse. Like you have to have a good foundation. And even though I don't know how to build, I don't really know how to build houses, I'm sure you cannot really build it on sand. Just making a space here. So this area is going to be the house or the, the hut for now. It's going to become a house at some later, later episodes, but so far I have to know how to even make a bed or anything. Like, that's how bad I am in this game. But then again, everyone starts from zero. There's no, you cannot jump to 100 quickly. So let's see what I can do here. So I have six. When did I even get six from? I didn't even notice. Maybe I got it from a plant here. Oh, and I do need these for, I think, these are sugar canes. Yeah, these are sugar canes here, and I do need them. It really depends. Like, this game is randomly generated, and from what I've heard, it is bigger than actual Earth. Like, the area, the area, a square feet, is bigger than Earth, which is crazy for a game like this. So Q dropped items, that's good to know. That's how to type, which I don't really need. Unless if I'm going to cheat, which is not really a good idea. And I will have to eat. Otherwise, it's pretty, I would probably not even eat that, I would probably puke. Let's see. This is achievements, which is L. 
and okay so also, okay so multiplayer i cannot really do anything about that so e is the inventory or the crafting system which it's kind of weird e i don't really know why it's e but i'm probably going to change it. it should be i if anything i played mmorpgs and usually i is the inventory so let's see what i can do here And I'm kind of stuck here because I don't even know how to, to, oh, there we go. Okay. So to divide it, I do have to go like this and sprout wood. So I, do, I have to make a bunch of those planks to get a proper house. And I have a lot of them. I might have even overdone it. And for all I know, this, is, this guy right here, Steve, he is pretty powerful since he can connect two diamonds into, like, pretty much infuse a diamond barehanded. I I can use these. Although I'm not sure what I can... Oh, here. I can get this now. And a chest. Um, what did I do? Okay, I dropped it, but I picked it up. Chest, I'll probably need it for crafting. Sticks, I'm sure that's for weapons. By the way, guys, I'm I'm just clicking and checking all the crafting it, all the crafting here. I do not need another chest. I kind of over uh, overdone it with the wood. So yeah, only four of these create those ones. Gonna put everything back together. And I'm just gonna be making my first wall of my... And it's getting dark already. Or I should hurry up. I keep dropping stuff. And these seem to be pretty durable. Gotta make it quickly though, because I need, I do need at least a shelter. And I do, do need to make some lights. So I'm gonna make it at least tall. If there are creepers here, I'm screwed. I'm like, I'm, my house is pretty much done for. Just takes only one creeper to, to destroy it. As I said, it's not even a house, it's a hut, so... It's even worse for me if they appear now. There we go. For the door, I'm probably just going to put it like on the side here. Gonna make more of them and zombies. That's not good. And there's a spider there and that's an enderman i do not want to get to him so this is why like difficult even normal difficulty is pretty powerful pretty dangerous because these are pretty much end game characters and he's staring at me right there i died so what's unfortunate in this i think i spawned in the same area but the thing is i don't even remember where i have to go There's a lava cave there, although I'm not even sure what I have to do. And there's a creeper. So I, I think I know a way to dig in. I'm just going to wait for him. Oh, that's, that was painful. But I got new material. And I should have used the other creeper and like, not make both of them die. 
Oh, there's food here. I do need that. Let's climb here and see if I can get anywhere. I hear a skeleton. Like even though I didn't play the game for a while, I can tell which which monster is which here. Yeah, that's a skeleton. That's not good. And I died from full damage. This is pretty horrible. I can't even make my own hut like before I die here. Gotta wait until they uh, appear. I mean, until a sun appears actually. Yeah, I need daylight. Okay, so that's where, let's see where my house is or my base where I already put in. I might, might as well take these because I might, okay, not, never mind then. Bunch of creepers. I can maybe use these guys. Okay, then I pretty much avoided both of them. I gotta find my house now. Or my hut is even it's completely unfinished. And I found it, but there is a skeleton there. So I do need to make a weapon at least. And I hear zombies, that's great. Surprisingly for normal difficulty, this is pretty hard. Like I played Dark Souls and I'm saying this. I actually finished the game, Dark Souls 3. And I still find this Harder, but I mean it's because I barely play this game. Only creative mode, which doesn't even count. Just gonna kill this one. The zombies are not that good. They're pretty much on par with the Half-Life 2 zombies. Very easy to avoid, and you can just get them stuck. And I just got an achievement. Monster Hunter. So let's see what weapons I can actually make here. Okay, so I do need... Okay, only if I can get past this guy right here. I can't do anything about it. I have gun gunpowder. I guess so you can get the gunpowder early. Just uh, do a bunch of... Uh, creepers. But yeah, these guys are impossible to avoid. It doesn't seem like I can do anything about them. But at least I'm not too far from my house. Look at that fox. I guess I can keep getting more and more res resources and going back every time. Somehow these animals are not even harmed. Bunch of food. But yeah, so far these, when I see this, It's pretty much, it seems much harder than it looks. I mean, it looks easy, but it's actually harder. Okay, so I got a bunch of wood again. I think I'm just gonna have so much wood at this point that I can just make like a building. So let's see where I am. I think I should make like a, a tower here. Instead of making the huts over there, maybe I'll just make it here. 
Like make it the highest point of the uh, of, of the island. Let's just take a bunch of these ones. And it's kind of, it seems kind of hard to get there. Keep jumping over it. There we go. Okay, so I can see almost everywhere. Come on, I didn't even fall that far. Sometimes the games do make fall damage a bit excessive. Like in real life, I jumped much higher than that and I didn't get hurt at all. Look, how, look at how, high, how tall it is. Maybe not even like barely a like one floor up, two, not even two stories. It's gonna make a staircase here. I will need it whenever. I'm gonna go back here every time I need to look for anything else. Like, I can go up so high. I just know what I can do. Okay, so far as everything is good. I guess you can say I'm making my, my lookout at least. Okay, almost there. I guess I can sacrifice this one. That's the tallest area, but it doesn't seem like... I mean, I can make this even taller. You guys know Dragon Ball, I usually would... I think I would make a look similar to that one. But every the lookout is gonna be made out of grass, grass and mud. But so far, it's pretty hard to survive. Like I don't even know how to make a weapon yet. And fists don't really seem to do much damage here. In Team Fortress Two, I know they do a lot of damage. In some games, they can even kill one shot. And like, what's the point of getting hungry if I'm gonna, it's gonna die and spawn in the same area? I actually think I spawn in the same area every time, so maybe I should just make my house over there. Like, it makes more sense. Okay, so here we are again. And I have to... Make a few more so I can surpass this one. Okay, I see definitely way better now. Although going back down, it's going to be an issue. Regardless, I'm just going to be back to where I was, like I didn't really collect much anyway. Very peaceful music in the background. Kind of missed that part.
And I'm dead, but at least I know where I have to go. So I spawned it twice here. Yeah, I'm not too far. I'm not too far from from the my lookout, my future lookout. I think I'm just gonna bring all the stuff that I need to bring to here and just like spawn, like have it right there. Or maybe have my house over there so I can have a decent thicker area. Yeah, I know I didn't really progress in anything in a video, but to be fair, guys, surviving even in normal mode seems very hard in this game. Doesn't mean I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna stop and not try, but it does take a while to even like collect items. And since I know I spawn in this area, I'm just gonna make sure where I spawn, I'm gonna leave like a mark. So this video title is going to be called Making my own lookout instead of the house or the pot Because I know I won't There's no way I'm going to be finishing the hut anytime soon I need a safe area before I even make a house And I will need enough of these Okay, 50. That should be way more than enough. Okay, I'm just gonna have to climb here again. I might make my own staircase as well here. The fact that it automatically jumps, like I know it's active stairs, but it's very trippy if you're not used to it. Like it automatically just jumps every time. Okay, there we go though, at least I'm, I have way more than enough blocks to, well, at least unless if I waste them like that. I have to be very careful. And place it like this on the side. Still not there, but quite there yet. So that's how far I have to get to at least. And that's my mistake. Eventually it will be safer and safer to get up here, but so far it's just, this is like the prototype version of the lookout. There we go, more stairs. And I think I'm almost, yeah, I'm a bit almost the same level as the highest area. I know there is a limit and I'm pretty close. I think I'm like maybe more than halfway, um, like half, more than halfway from the limit before I can't even build anymore. I think it would be cool if you can build up the space. I'm sure there's like a mod for that.
that was weird. I, for some reason, I, I thought I could have already had like an invisible wall there. But yeah, just me rambling on doing a lookout. And I think that should be more than enough, actually. You can, you can pretty much see everything around you. Just gonna have to make it a bit wider. Maybe I'll make my house here. Although it's gonna be tedious to go back down and up every time. Right, there we go guys, it's my first time playing and I try to do at least a safe area, hopefully no mob can spawn here, it's a very small and tight place anyway. And it doesn't seem like it can build anything good here, like I cannot build weapons, I can't build anything. But that will be in the next episode guys, when I build weapons and actually build safe like a safe zone maybe like a bed and an actual house and i'll see you guys on the next video bye bye <laughs>